Okay, don't laugh. This is my first rehousing for doing these guys. He is my fourth little T. He is a giant, well, giant to me, striped need tarantula. And I think it was, oh, I can't pronounce that Latin name to save my life, but I've never been able to. So, there he is. My dogs are going to let out a fit. i got to walk him. But he is the first one of three or four, pretend three rehousings I have to do today. There he goes. So I am using a paintbrush. I'm just trying to... Don't be defensive, buddy. Come on. Get out of your little container. Work with me here, big guy. I would say he's little, but he's really not that small. Don't give me an attitude. Thank you. And he is in his new home. And he is a uh, terrestrial. He's definitely jumpy. So he is in an 18 by 24 by 12. It may be a little overkill for him. But uh, he's got space to grow. And he's got some plants. That are, they're supposed to be good with the humidity. So being bioactive should be okay. He's got a couple of heights. He's got some brandy new plants that will have to grow. And when they do, it'll provide him a bunch of cover. Um, video is probably not the best because it's too dark. I think it's a little bit better. It's so off and kind of ugly, but there we go. There is my brandy new baby who's currently hiding because he has had a long day and I don't blame him. But there's plenty of moisture in there to help him out with the rehousing. So if he's a little bit dry from having a long day, it'll help him out a little bit. And uh, there's a ton of options for him to hide in. And this, and this is probably a better view of what his enclosure actually looks like because it's not an aerial view, it's at his level. So he's got a little hidey hole with the chest. There's a hole punched in the back of it so he can crawl through it and hide under the uh, piece of bark that he's currently hiding behind. Then we got some uh, different mosses and lichens in here, more mosses than anything. Uh, we got this little rabbit's foot fern in the back. We got another bark, cork bark hide for him right there. It is partially buried, so he can easily turn that into a burrow if he chooses. And then we got this little plant here that I forgot the name of. But if you give me a minute, I can try and figure it out. It was a uh, pink angel was the name of this this pink plant here. Then we got. Uh, Spanish moss, which is that guy there. And I lost the other name. But the other name is definitely a rabbit's foot fern. And it's kind of cool because if you look at the base of it, which I may not be able to see, it looks like little furry rabbit's feet at the base of it. And I'm going to leave him alone now so he can settle in and figure out what he wants to do for the night.